What's up everybody, long time no see. So today I am actually gonna go get my part 107 license. So wish me luck. All right, so I am recording this on my phone because obviously I can't take my camera in there or my phone. I did have to put my phone inside of a drawer, but I passed, got paperwork, got an 82%. I was hoping to do a little bit better, um, but pay attention to all the new regulations and the new stuff for 107. Um, don't skip all of the new remote ID questions or the uh, remote ID section. Um, do not forget to research the night flying. Um, one of the things that was mentioned on there was like night vision and talking about your line of sight and your peripheral vision. So make sure you check that out. Um, but yeah, so Tony did a great job on the, um, sorry, I can get the sun out of the way. Uh, Tony did a great job on the practice test and the study course that he released a few years ago. But again, um, there's a lot of stuff that came out recently this year in April that just wasn't covered. Um, I'm gonna link some videos in here. So then that way you could see what kind of um, got me ready for this. And just so you know, I only spent two days um, practicing and uh, studying for this exam. Uh, in the two days, it was maybe six to eight hours total. Uh, it's a lot of it's common sense. Um, some of the stuff is just blatantly obvious. And then some of it really makes you think. Um, I am going to get my car, drive home. I'll put something together a little more thorough for you guys. And that way, hopefully I can help you uh, pass your 107. All right, as promised, here is a little list of some videos I put together that will help you pass the part 107 within 48 hours or possibly even less. So I know in the video that I took walking out of the testing facility, I mentioned that I only studied for two days. Um, but one thing to keep in mind is that everybody's different. Some people are better test takers, some are not good test takers. Some people hold more information, more some don't. Um, I typically cram where I just study a bunch. I retain it very well and I'm, I'm typically a good test taker. Uh, I was very confident with taking the part 107 after watching these four videos that I'm going to talk about and link below. Um, the main one being from Tony Northup. Uh, great video, great part 107 study guide. Unfortunately, there were some things lacking in information in there just because it's a little outdated. Um, so one of the videos, two of the videos I really recommend um, were created by Greg with Pilot Institute. Uh, the 107 night training and the remote ID, excuse me, remote ID and operations over people. Uh, you're going to want to watch both of those videos. So those two videos along with Tony's are going to give you 100% of the information you need. I'm, I'm not joking, everything. Um, and then on top of that, another Tony at Our Simple Story, his channel, he posted a video called Part 107 Questions that took me by surprise. And I wanna say thank you for making that video because that was something I actually watched after everything else. And it kind of opened up, um, pretty much gave me the heads up that there was gonna be stuff on there that Tony Northup wasn't able to know about or talk about, obviously because the new regulations. So definitely watch uh, Tony's video uh, from Our Simple Story, very informative. He's gonna go over a couple questions that were actually on my test, like those exact questions were on my test. So pay attention to those. Uh, a couple of the things I want to add to this to pay attention to, um, the flight over people. Uh, there are going to be questions in the new part 107. Uh, the night flying and peripheral vision uh, when looking at objects for too long or for an extended period of time. There are questions about this. What um, the questions, how do, I mean, I, I don't want to give you answers or anything, but I want you guys to understand it and know it for yourself without just giving you answers. But um, pay attention to the night, night flying. Um, you're going to see something in the, that says night vision and it sounds kind of funky at first. Um, but just again, watch, watch those videos from Greg. Very informational. Everything you need is in those videos. Um, <clears throat> another thing is on the test when they are having you look at the maps, there's a lot of mentions of nautical miles. So they'll, they'll ask a question like, what is 5NM away from this latitude and longitude? What airport is it? Um, this is kind of where I messed up. I didn't even know if NM stood for nautical miles blew my mind. I, I don't know. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Anyway, so that one kind of threw me for a loop. So just keep in mind on that. Um, and the remote ID, there are questions about the remote ID. So make sure you pay attention to that, even though we don't have it yet, it's still on there. So uh, definitely pay attention to that. Um, 
Two last things I want to mention, uh, use the legend. So when they give you the book, almost all of the answers are in the legend. Even if it asks you which frequency to use if the main tower is down. If you're not sure and it sounds confusing, look at the legend. It, it's, it's Everything is in the legend. It's actually kind of crazy. So um, again, they just want you to prove that you're thinking and understanding and not just going in there and just, you know, writing down answers and hoping that you pass. But anyways, I hope you like this video. Uh, please consider liking and subscribing. If you found this information uh, useful, please come back, let me know. Um, again, go watch those four videos and hopefully you get your 107. See you, see you later. Uh, one last thing, by the way, to the, the guy over at Our Simple Story. I'm sorry for saying your name is Tony. I thought that was your name. Saw it in the comments. Must have been referring to Tony's video. So, my bad. Don't know what your name is, but you're the real one for sharing that info.